and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in or if you are new or just stumbling across this video. Hello, my name is Katrina. Today we are doing yet another Disney inspired hair and makeup tutorial. Today's princess is Snow White and I'm so excited. I love Snow White. She was probably like the first Disney princess that I actually ever watched. I think she was the first one to be created because she was in the 20s. I don't know, I love her. I think she's so sweet, so beautiful and I love her look. And so I've been really excited to recreate this look. Shout out to Extress Hair. They provided me with this beautiful wig. It's actually normally a side part wig, but I just completely folded it under to give this gorgeous little 20 snow white bob and I am so excited to show you guys how I did it. So thank you so much to Extras Hair. I'll pop all of their links down below. They've got some beautiful wigs. This one, I cannot believe it's synthetic. It is holding so well and it feels so lovely. Such good quality stuff. So I'll link them down below so that you guys can get your own snow white wig. Before I get into the video though, please head down below and give this video a big thumbs up because it really supports my channel and it helps with the YouTube algorithm. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if if you haven't already and make sure you hit the bell for notifications for every time that I post. I post every Thursday and Sunday but you never know what time it's going to be so you've got to hit the bell. Now without further ado let's get straight into the Snow White video. So following the same format as my Princess Jasmine video I'm starting with the brows and I'm using the Pony Cosmetics Brow Duo Powder in the shade Thoroughbred to make them darker for Snow White's black hair. I applied the darker shade to the tail and body of the brow and then the lighter shade to the head of my brow to keep them looking really natural. My brows definitely need some TLC since being in self-isolation so I'm very sorry that you have to see that. Next I'm taking the Pony Zebra Clear Brow Gel to lock these bad boys into place. Also all of the products that I use will be linked down below for you guys including the face products that I used prior to filming this video. Moving on to the eyes, I only used one palette for the entire eye look, which was the Too Faced Sweet Peach Eye Palette. I just wanted to create a classic, soft, old Hollywood style type of look. So starting with the shade Puree, I just swept this into my crease and tried to keep it a little more rounded as back in the 20s they loved a round eye. From there, I actually took a white face paint to use to cut the crease. I've just found that my concealers aren't a thick enough base for me, so I thought using a white base would probably lighten the lid more and help with vibrancy. Next up, I took this beautiful matte creamy peach shade called Peaches and Cream and packed that onto the white paint. To make that cut crease a little more distinct, I took the shade Caramelized and just swept that through the crease. Then I just took a bigger fluffy blending brush and blended the two crease shades together. Then I took Caramelized again and applied that to the outer corner of the lid to create some depth. And then I took the shade Puree and applied that just in between the light and dark shades on a bit of a diagonal to help blend the cut crease some more. Next I took this beautiful peachy shimmer called Nectar and highlighted my inner corner and my brow bone. Then to open up my eyes, I took the shade Puree again and swept that underneath my lash line. For eyeliner, I took the Mellow Cosmetics Gel Eyeliner and my Inglot 42T brush and created a medium sized wing. As you can see, a lot of eyeliner came off my brush where I didn't exactly want it to, but if that ever happens, you can always recover by making the tail of the wing a little longer and also cotton tips are a girl's best friend. To open up the eyes even more, I took the Maybelline Lasting Drama Light Liner and lined my waterline. I then used my usual Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift Mascara and coated both my top and bottom lashes. They usually don't clump so much, but the eyeliner that I previously used tends to clump your lashes a little. Next up, I just applied my Ardell 110 Black Lashes as they're a lovely mix of natural and glam, and that was the eyes done. For the face, I used the Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo in the shade Mojave Mauve and just buffed this into my cheeks. And then I used the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Soft and Gentle for a soft, youthful, rosy glow. And I just applied this to the highest point of my cheekbones and up around my temple, and then on the tip of my nose, the top of my nose, and my cupid's bow. For lips, I took the Lip Heroes Waterproof Lip Liner in the shade Redness and lined my lips and also colored in the outer corners of my mouth. Then I went in with the quintessential red lipstick, This Is Valerie Red by Lip Heroes as well. Now onto hair, since I was wearing a wig I just quickly plaited my hair in two and pinned them around my head. I then got out my black wig cap from my Xtress package and put that on top of my head. Now 
Next up, time for the wig. This one is super high quality and contains three clips on each side and at the back for securing the wig, as well as elastic to tighten or loosen the size of the wig. It's also a lace front wig, which gives the illusion of a more natural looking hairline. So I just went ahead and cut the lace off of mine to fit my hairline. And then I popped the wig on and secured it in place by clipping in the back first and then the two side clips. Now I wanted to have a middle part like Snow White, but this wig came with a side part. So as you can see from the difference in length, you could restyle it if you would like, but considering how I was going to style the wig anyway, I felt it would be easier to just start with a middle part. If you wear it in the side part though, the length will be even on both sides. So anyway, I just went ahead and brushed the wig out to get rid of any kinks from being in a box. And then to create the soft 20s bob that Snow White has, I just took sections between 2 and 3 inches wide and just rolled the bottom upwards towards my face. And then I just pinned it in place with a bobby pin. And then I just did it again and for the rest of my hair until I was happy with it. It took a little while as sometimes my bobby pin wasn't completely secured when I thought it was. So just put a million bobby pins in to keep it really secure and you'll be fine. Now I know Snow White's headband is usually red, but with all the stores closed at the moment it was hard to find one, so instead I took another signature colour of hers and popped this navy velvet headband in. You may remember this style from my Jasmine video, and yes, I have the same headband in three different colours. I just love it, so I'll pop the link to it down below if it's still available. And anyways, guys, this is the full look. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Disney-inspired tutorial. I think this is one of my favourite looks to date. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye!